Welcome back neighbors, it's Ryan Delk back with another lawn tip. In this video, we're gonna talk about soil testing. Why do we do it, how do we do it, and what benefits do we get out of it? The soil test kit we're gonna be using is from Yard Mastery. Now I'm not sponsored by anyone, but this is the easiest kit I've used and it gives back straightforward information that's easy to read in a bar graph form tells you exactly what your lawn needs, and then it actually suggests products that will help amend your soil and fix your grass. So this is what I recommend. It's from yardmastery.com. You don't have to use Yard Mastery. You can use any one you want, but this is just who I prefer. So let's try it out. So let's take a look at what tools you need. First, you'll need your soil sample kit. You can use an apple core tool. You can get for three or $4 to plug in and pull out a core, or I ordered me a soil probe, and this will go down really as deep as you need it, but we only need to go four to six inches, and this is perfect for that, to pull a perfect core out that we can check our samples for. Then I got a box, or you can use a bucket, and you put your samples in there. Now what you're gonna wanna do is pull out, I'm just gonna do the front yard, so I'm gonna pull out about four to six samples and mix them together and then I'm gonna send the sample off. If you're doing a bigger area, then you'll wanna get like 10, 11, 12 samples, mix them all together so you get a good mix. I'm just doing the front and I do the backyard separately. You can do it however you want to. Just a bigger area, get more samples, mix them together. You don't wanna pull one plug and send off your sample and see what that little piece of soil is looking like. Unless you just have a trouble area you're trying to troubleshoot. You wanna get a bunch of samples all over the area that you wanna test. So I'm gonna test a few areas in the front yard and we'll check that out. Come on. So I just pushed it down about four to six inches and then I gave it a turn and then I just pull it straight up. I got my soil sample. You can see all the sand where I've done a little bit of leveling, the leveling in this area. And then take my box and my soil sample. This does the same thing. Shove down, grab your core, pull it out, open it, pull your core out. So I'm gonna do a couple more spots in my yard. Again, you wanna hit that four to six inch range. See what the core looks like. We're in Georgia, so there's a lot of clay. So we've done a couple holes around the yard. We're gonna do just a couple more. We're just gonna pick random areas to do it. And I'm just gonna push it down. That one stopped because it hit a rock and that's okay. That's deep enough. Give it a twist, pull it out. Look at that. We got our core right there. Put it in our box. Do the same thing again, different area. Give it a twist, pull it out. Nice, beautiful core. So 
you can see in the box, I've got a bunch of different cores from around the yard. What I'm gonna do is mix those together and then take one sample out of all those so that I'll have a nice kind of mixture of overall what the front yard's like. And I'll test that soil and we'll see what it's like. This tool makes it super simple. I'll show you what the apple core does. It can't go as deep, but it still works. I've used it in the past. So I'll find a random area. It's a little bit harder to push in because I don't have the leverage. Push it in there, give it a twist, and pull it out. It's a little bit harder, but look, it still works. Come over here and check it out. You're not gonna get as deep with it, but I still got a good core here. Look at that. Pulled straight out of the ground. That's good grass. All right, that's how that works. And now I got a few holes in my yard, which is nothing to worry about. They'll, they'll fill themselves back in, but I might just grab some sand, fill it in there, just make it a little bit more easy and even. All right, let's go do our soil sample. So, I've collected up my soil samples and now we're going to open our box. Let's take a look at what comes in the Yard Mastery soil kit. This is exactly how it comes. Open it up. You got your important information here. That's where you're going to register your product. That's where you're going to check your soil results when you're done and register it. And it gives you tips on how to collect a good uh, soil sample, which is what we already did. So read those, follow the directions, then we'll mail it off. So this is our envelope that we'll mail our sample off in. And here's our important parts. This is what we'll put our soil sample in. And this helps us determine how much soil needs to go in here. So we're gonna fill this to the brim nice and even. We're not gonna pack it, we're just gonna put it in there nice and even. Dump it in here, and we'll have our soil sample. One cheater move you can do is take this stuff out of the box. Now you have a soil box that you can kinda mix your cores up in and get yourself a good sample. I already had mine in the box, but I'll go ahead and use the soil box. This is good. We want to take this, you see how my soil is pure clay. We want to take this and we're going to make one good sample out of mixing all those together. I'm going to throw what I don't need in my box. So what I'm doing is going through here, I'm going to take out any debris, any grass, oh, you can see my roots are going all the way down here. This is all connected. You want to try to get rid of all your roots. Get rid of all your grass. But you're not testing your grass, you're testing the soil. Get rid of all the debris you see. Look at that root, that's good. And it allows you to get a look at your root system for your grass while you're in there. So this is another benefit. Now you're just looking through here, looking for anything that's not dirt. Rocks, roots, sticks, stems, grass. And just kind of break it all up. So you're going through your dirt and you're just breaking it up, getting all the debris and stuff that doesn't belong in there, things that aren't soil, and you're taking it out because we're doing a soil test. Not a root test, not a grass test, not a rock test, a soil test. So all we want is soil in there. If you're doing a bigger area, you'll get more samples, but I'm mixing it all together because I want to get an average soil test for my whole front yard. And when I send this off, I'm going to name it 
front yard so that I don't forget, just in case I do multiple samples. So we're just breaking it up, getting rocks out. You won't, you won't get a very good sample reading from a rock, so we want to get those out of here. Once you feel like you've got it broken up pretty good and you've got to filter through decently well, take your scoop, put your good dirt in there. I got a good, nice full scoop right there. Then it's this easy. Take your sample container, break the seal on it. Be careful because there is water in here. You don't want to spill it because we need that. Give it a twist. Look at there pretty weird how this works but that little thing that's floating in there absorbs the nutrients out and that's what they're going to test so we'll put our soil in there tighten it up nice and tight because i don't want that busting in the mail i put my seal back on i don't know if you have to do that and now look right here see that number that's important don't steal my number. Take my envelope. Slide my sample in there because it's nice and secured, nice and tight. Seal it shut. Easy as that. Put your address on the front in case something happens to it. But we're good to go. Mail that thing off. And it takes about 10 to 14 days to get a sample back. Be patient. Simple as that. I got my soil kit inside the envelope. Got it sealed up, nice and tight, ready. I'm just gonna mail this thing off and wait 10 to 14 days and I'll have my test results. But there's an important thing you want to do is go onto their website, yardmastery.com slash soil kit. Go put your registration number in there, which they provided. And then you're registered. Name it whatever part of the lawn that you tested. If you tested your whole yard, you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to yardmastery.com backslash soil kit and it will bring me to the yard mastery soil kit website and once i get there i'm going to log in create a login if you hadn't and make things a lot easier for you and it's free then you'll just register your kit put in your register number that was on your little um, barcode Then you'll name it, whatever you want to name it. I'm naming mine front yard and I'm putting the date that I took it, but the date's right below it. So you don't really have to do that. And then I'll click register kit. Bam, there it is. And then check back. And when they update it, you'll have a nice bar graph. So why do you need to do a soil sample? Cause you need to know what's going on in your soil. Your, your grass is a plant and plants need certain nutrients to grow and to thrive. We want our grass to thrive, so we need to know what nutrients that it's lacking. So this soil sample is gonna let me know what do I need to add to my grass to make it better and healthier and thicker. So that's why you do a soil sample, because you wanna know what's going on in your soil, because your grass is a plant that needs certain nutrients. And this is gonna tell you what you need. So let's go ahead and mail this thing off. I hope you all learned something. If you did, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and go ahead and turn on notifications so you don't miss another lawn tip video. Thanks a lot, y'all. See you next time.